Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is John Marco Malucci. I am so glad that you decided to join me today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a birth chart reading for the musical artist SZA. SZA was born Solana Amani Roe. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. She was born on November 8th, 1989 in St. Louis, Missouri. She has a Scorpio sun, a Pisces moon, and an Aquarius ascendant. She recently released a new album called SOS, so I thought it was relevant to read her chart. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe below as well as like this video. I post astrological content weekly. All right, now that you're subscribed, let's get into SZA's chart. One of the most prominent placements in Sisa's chart is her stellium in Scorpio between her Sun, her Mercury, and her Pluto. When the Sun is conjunct Pluto on its own, it indicates a really powerful personality and someone that can project and reach people very deeply through their essence, through their existence, and um, the energy that they radiate. When Mercury is added to that mix, it creates a personality that is also very communicative in that power and in that radiance. So this stellium gives us the gift of being able to project and communicate in a really powerful way and reach people at a very deep, deep level, especially because the stelliums in Scorpio and then Pluto, which rules Scorpio, is conjunct uh, Mercury and the Sun in the stellium. It adds an incredible amount of Scorpio energy. And Scorpio is that depth and that created intimacy, the intimacy that is cultivated through depth. So it's likely that SZA can very intimately reach and communicate with her audience uh, through this placement. Interestingly enough, the stellium, while it's in Scorpio, it also falls in her ninth house, which the ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius and it's about our philosophy, travel, having so many planets in the ninth house, it gives SZA a kind of high-mindedness and a very spiritual philosophical outlook on life uh, present in how she communicates and what really gives, gives her life. Uh, our sun is how we give life, but it's also what gives us life. This really comes through in SZA's music, at least the music I've listened to of hers. It has a very soulful quality that reflects kind of a spiritual philosophical outlook on life, though it also digs into more Scorpio topics like death, sex, and cheating, uh, which gives a good balance point between that high-mindedness and the grit and the dirt that Scorpio can represent. In addition to her stellium in Scorpio, SZA also has her Chiron at the 16th degree in Cancer, uh, conjunct her Jupiter at the 10th degree, also in Cancer. So with this Chiron placement, because her Chiron is trining that stellium, it creates a strong identification with the archetype of the healer, uh, the wounded healer more specifically. When Chiron is in aspects to other planets, it can represent parts of our psyche that have been wounded uh, and through which we are able to not only heal ourselves, but also heal others through the empathy and the experience of being wounded. In Sis's case, because her Chiron is trying uh, her Sun, her Mercury, and her Pluto, there's probably a lot of wounding that has to do with her voice and being able to speak openly and authentically, especially because all of those, the stellium in Scorpio is in her ninth house. So to be able to express openly and authentically is something that's very healing for her and likely healing for other people to hear. Chiron and Cancer also indicates healing through nourishing people and really nourishing their souls. In Sis's case, I believe she has the opportunity to do this through her music and through her creativity. Mercury rules communication and the sun, uh, other than just our radiance and our presence, it can also be creativity. So with the sun, Pluto, Mercury, Stellium, and Scorpio trining her Chiron and Cancer, it indicates an ability to really powerfully nourish people through her voice and through her creativity uh, that she expresses through her voice. SZA also has her moon at 13 degrees Pisces. Those that have their moon in Pisces are often very, very emotional in the way that their emotions are almost endless. They're so expansive. They're very oceanic in nature. This leads to a lot of dissociation from emotion because 
those with their moon in Pisces may not feel they have the ability to hold and kind of form a container for that emotion. In Sis's case, she likely does feel things very deeply, especially because her moon is trying her Chiron as well as trying her uh, Stellium in Scorpio. So those additional water signs, they add more oomph and more, even more water to the ocean, so to speak. <laughs> Pisces moons are also very psychic in nature. What I found in my own research is that those that can dissociate more easily are oftentimes more psychic, or I should say more in touch with their psychic ability. Thus, through Pisces moon having a tendency to dissociate to go more into an astral space or into the astral plane rather than always being in their physical body, they have a lot of psychicism and psychic potential. Additionally, Pisces moons sometimes have difficulty uh, distinguishing fantasy from reality because of that dissociative quality. They may lie intentionally or unintentionally um, to live in that fantasy. So with all these planets in water signs, they also form what's called a grand trine, and it's when all of those planets uh, trine each other to form like a big equilateral triangle. So her stellium in Scorpio, her planets in Cancer, and her moon in Pisces, they all form trines to each other, making that triangle. A grand trine indicates gifts specific to the element that the trine occurs in. So in Sis's case, her grand trine falls in the water signs. So this represents gifts in terms of empathic ability, psychic ability, intuitive ability, also the ability to feel and emote, as well as musicality. I think of the rhythm of the waves, the flowing in and flowing out. Uh, understanding the timing of that gives those with a lot of water placements and especially uh, grand trine in the water signs Great musicality. There is an important note on grand trines, however. They indicate gifts that really occur naturally to us, though they don't necessarily mean that we have the motivation to manifest and use those gifts. Trines are harmonious aspects, so they represent ease in our life. However, it's oftentimes the harder aspects like oppositions and squares that provide the tension necessary for us to create changes and to take action. It's really a lesson that potential does not always mean actualization of that potential. In Sis's case, I think it's apparent that she has utilized her gifts, but we'll get into why or perhaps an indication in her chart that has created that impetus to use those gifts. In addition to her grand trine, Sisa has Neptune conjunct Saturn in Capricorn. Neptune, I think, is at 10 degrees Capricorn and Saturn is at nine degrees. So this placement, it forms sextiles with her moon in Pisces and her stellium in Scorpio, and it also opposes her Chiron conjunct Jupiter in Cancer. So it forms a pattern in her chart called a kite. Kites are really positive because they always include a grand trine, though they also have a hard aspect through that opposition which gives motivation to manifest that grand trine. And also with those sextiles, it creates opportunity through which to manifest the gifts the grand trine represents. Her Neptune and Saturn opposite her Chiron conjunct Jupiter indicates a point of tension between her ability to heal and her sense of wealth and abundance and hard spiritual truths that are represented by Neptune conjunct Saturn. She may have had to consciously step out of delusions of grandeur, which can be indicated by Jupiter conjunct Chiron. And in giving up this false sense of self that she may have found a false sense of security and she was she's able to project her gifts that the Grand Trine represents towards greater spiritual authority represented by Saturn conjunct Neptune, as well as greater lasting creativity. Again, Neptune, Saturn. All right, that will do it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I think that SZA is has so much talent and a great deal of gifts. I think how she decides to use that those gifts and for what ends, she's probably in the process of figuring that out right now.
I really do believe that musical artists can really heal a lot of people or do an incredible amount of wounding at a subliminal level. So I think she's making the choice in what she's doing right now. So we'll see where her soul leads her. If you haven't already, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, I post astrological content. If you'd like a birth chart reading with me, I have my phone number and email in the description below. I also have a link through which you can book online. All right, that will do it for today. Until next time, I will talk to you later.